Imagine a fighter jet that promises the power of an F-35 at one-third the price. A jet that Russia claimed would dominate the skies, yet four years after its grand reveal, it still hasn't flown. This is the story of the Su-75 Checkmate, a jet some call the Ghost Fighter, because no one knows if it's real or just a clever piece of propaganda. Welcome to Extreme Engineering, the place where we uncover the world's most impossible machines and the insane human ambition behind them. From jets that outrun missiles to megastructures that defy gravity, if it pushes physics to the limit, you'll find it here. The year was 2021. At the Max Air Show in Moscow, Russian media built up the suspense like a Hollywood movie. The stage was dark, music was blasting, and out rolled a black cloth covering something huge. Then came the reveal. A sleek, angular stealth jet painted in gray and black. On the giant screen behind it flashed one word, checkmate. It wasn't just a jet. It was a statement. Russia wanted the world to believe it had just built a rival to America's F-35. The marketing pitch was bold. A price tag of just 25 to 30 million dollars. Less than half the cost of an F-35. Speed promised at Mach 1.8. A range of 1,500 kilometers stealth shaping with internal weapons bays, and advanced radar plus electronic warfare systems. A fifth-generation stealth fighter for nations that couldn't afford America's jets. Russia claimed the Su-75 would outsmart and outgun Western aircraft. Its name, Checkmate, wasn't accidental. It was meant to say, Russia just put America's air power in check. Almost immediately, Russia started marketing the jet overseas. They targeted India, which has long been one of the world's biggest buyers of Russian aircraft. They pitched it to the United Arab Emirates, Vietnam, and even African nations. Russia promised first flight by 2023, mass production by 2026, and export deals soon after. But here's the problem. None of that happened. Fast forward to today. It's 2025. And the Su-75? Still a mock-up. Not a single real prototype has taken to the skies. At every air show, Russia brings out the same model. They play CGI videos of the jet in combat. But the truth is, the Su-75 has never flown. Not once. So what went wrong? Three things. First, money. Developing a fifth-gen stealth fighter costs tens of billions. Russia simply doesn't have that kind of cash right now. Second, sanctions. After the war in Ukraine, Russia lost access to Western electronics, materials, and funding. That slowed everything to a crawl. Third, priorities. Russia is already struggling to produce enough Su-57s, their flagship stealth fighter. With that backlog, the Su-75 project was always going to be delayed. Because of this, many analysts now call the Su-75 the propaganda jet, a project meant more to impress foreign buyers than to actually reach production. For Russia, the checkmate was a PR move. A way to say, we're still in the stealth game, but without funding, technology partners, or buyers, it risks becoming nothing more than an airshow display. But here's the twist. Russia insists the Su-75 is not dead. United Aircraft Corporation has said the prototype could fly by 2027 or 2028. If they find foreign partners, maybe even India, the project could still move forward. So while the Su-75 is stuck in limbo today, it isn't fully buried yet. So what is the Su-75 really? A genuine stealth jet in development? Or a ghost fighter? More fantasy than reality? 
Only time will tell. But one thing is certain. The Su-75 Checkmate is one of the most mysterious fighter jet projects in the world today. And maybe that's the real Checkmate. Not against America, but against the truth itself. If you enjoyed this video and found it interesting, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. Every subscription inspires our team to keep researching, exploring, and bringing you even more mind-blowing engineering contents. Stay tuned, because the future of engineering has only just begun, and we can't wait to share it with you. See you in the next video.